Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. My name is Faith and on this channel I do mostly vlogs and mommy related content. I would love if you'd stick around. You can subscribe to my channel um, and if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up. Um, today I'm gonna be doing like a QA. and a um, It's just kind of random. It's mostly mommy related um, but I asked some friends on Instagram to ask me any questions that they would like me to answer. Okay, so let's get right into it. All right, the first one is, how did you handle transitioning to stay-at-home mom life? Um, okay, I before I became a mom, I was working at... A church which we still work there my husband and I still work there my husband is the youth pastor and I am the worship leader um, but I worked in the office so transitioning into being a stay-at-home mom oh you know what I didn't even do that until my son was um, six months around six months I started staying home and then watching another baby with um so that i could stay home um and then <laughs> i was popping my toes <laughs> i didn't even realize <laughs> it's kind of gross <laughs> i was sitting on a binky mom life um anyway so i watched this other sweet little boy um and that allowed me to stay at home and then when i right before i um, had my second baby I stopped watching the other um, baby that I was babysitting um, just because I felt like it would be overwhelming anyway so it was kind of a slow transition into me like actually just staying home watching um, just my kids but I feel like it was pretty smooth I I did go through a season when zeal my firstborn was around one where I just got super depressed being home and I just like had no drive to do anything but I do think that just transitioning into motherhood in general whether you're stay-at-home mom or work or um, you work I think you just have to go through this like it's like a huge learning curve and readjustment to life and so I think that's what it was I love being a stay-at-home mom I like being home and um, yeah, I just, I enjoy it. Okay. How has COVID-19 affected you? Um, there's like this meme, if I can find it, I'll put it in here. When you find out your normal daily lifestyle is called quarantine, <laughs> that is me. Um, what's made me the most anxious about this whole thing um, is the people around me i've seen a lot of anxiety and um, fear and so honestly i felt stress just because i'm worried about my um, friends and family and how it's affecting them and i've had some friends um, lose jobs and um, some at risk for losing jobs and that has been the hardest thing for me personally to watch and i just feel kind of helpless um, but as far as my my life, um, not much has changed except we can't go to the park or I can't go to the store like I want to. But that's okay. We're staying in for the good of everyone. Okay. What activities do you do with your babies? I, um, I'm not super adventurous, honestly. <laughs> we go to parks or we color, we do Play-Doh, um, just stuff like that. I'm not like a, I'm not a cool mom in that way. I just do like, I don't know, whatever I think of. Sometimes we build forts and Fernando's the, Fernando does the wrestling and all that crazy stuff. But, um, yeah, we build forts sometimes and do different things like that. Um, okay, if your kids were grown, what would your dream job be? 
Hmm. I don't know what it will be because I'll be like 45, 50 probably. Um, but I, I imagine I will have the same like dreams for some stuff. Like music is something that I'm super passionate about leading worship. Um, and I'm really getting more into songwriting. Um, and so probably just still doing that, pursuing that in ministry, like probably, I, I mean, I'm going to enjoy having the freedom to do more ministry. Um, and then I don't know, maybe I'll still be making videos. Oh, me and Fernando would love to like travel more. So, but dream job, man, being a mom is my dream job. Being a worship leader is my dream job. Um, and then making videos on YouTube and sharing my life, that is my dream job. So I think I'm living what I want to do. You're interrupting my video. Sorry. No, it's okay. You probably won't even be able to hear it. Okay. What is the first thing you notice about a person? I like this question. Um, okay. I think after thinking about this for a little bit, I think there's two things that I mostly notice. I notice a person's confidence um, because if they are not confident, it's very uncomfortable for me. I feel very awkward. Um, but when someone is confident, I feel at ease. And then the second thing I, noted, thing I notice is their sense of humor. Um, are they a funny person? Are they not a funny person? I just enjoy being on funny people and people who love to laugh. I love when people love to laugh because I love to laugh. So yeah, so confidence and sense of humor. Okay, and then my last question. What are you watching, reading, and listening to right now? Okay, um, Fernando and I just started watching The Tiger King on Netflix, and it's so good. It's about like basically this like crazy guy who um, likes big cats, and, like tigers and lions and all that. And so he has this exotic like zoo type thing in, um, where is it? Ohio? Oklahoma, in Oklahoma. Um, and then there's this other cat lady who like wants to protect them and preserve their lives and all that. And so she's tr fighting to try to get him shut down. Basically this woman got murdered. This is like a documentary. And they believe that he murdered her, but we're only like, two episodes in anyway but it's really good you should check it out it's called the tiger king okay so that's what we're watching right now and then we also um started um we're gonna me and fernando are going to re-watch the office but we are gonna do it along with the office ladies podcast so that's another thing that we just started listening to it's probably going to be slow because fernando's pretty busy right now but um the Office Ladies podcast is something that we've started listening to, and we're going to be watching The Office along with that. Um, so something I'm listening to, let's see, what else am I listening to? I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks on Hoopla and um, Audible, um, but a podcast that I have been listening to lately that's kind of fun is um, called Life Imagined. And so basically... It's a 45 minute podcast and they start by telling a story and they put you in the, you in the story. So they're, they're like, imagine you were blah, 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 and you lived like this. And, and they go through this whole, like someone's whole story. And then at the end, they tell you who that person is. And so it's like a celebrity um, or like a, com a comedian, an actor, a singer, any of those things. Anyway, it's super interesting to see like, people's lives so I've been listening to that one and then let's see I just finished worship matters a book um, by I think it's Bob Coughlin um, amazing book for any worship leader I would recommend it to every worship leader or even person on a worship team um, and then let's see what else am I reading Right now I am reading, oh, Dangerous Prayers. I'm reading Dangerous Prayers by, what's his name? Craig Rochelle. By Dangerous Prayers by Craig Rochelle. 
it's so good um but it is hard to find the time to read like a book like a physical book i like reading physical books but it's really hard right now in this season of life to find time to sit down i'm trying to make it a priority but audio books have like changed my life i have never read as much as i've read this past year and then even going into this year um so yeah audiobooks is like a huge game changer for me um and that's it i mean i have like i'm in the middle of like four books but that's the main one i'm trying to like get through right now so yeah that's it okay well thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed um if you did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you can even leave a comment i like um talking interacting with you guys um so i will see you guys in my next video bye Oh